Welcome back to 3 Shoe one Make sure to subscribe, click the notification bell, and smash that like button. Now let's get into the video. Today we're taking a look at the collaboration between the famously known singer Billie Eilish and the Jordan 1 AJKO in the ghost green colorway. For a little backstory, back in 2019, Billie Eilish appeared as a guest on Complex's sneaker shopping and in the episode, she teased that a project with the Jordan brand was potentially in the works. On September 20th, Billie revealed in an Instagram post that both pairs are 100% vegan and feature 20% recycled materials. The two shoe collab initially launched on September 27th on Billie Eilish's online store, followed by a sneakers release later in September. Now, starting off with the box, we can see it's made up of one main color, which is a dark black. On the top of the box, we can see a Jordan logo with Billie Eilish surrounding it in a black text. It might be a little difficult to see, but on one side of the box it says Billie, and on the other side of the box it says Eilish. If we open the box and look at the shoe paper, we can see a brown colored shoe paper with more of the Jordan and Billie Eilish branding surrounding it. Finally, we can see the box label which tells us some information about the shoe. These release on September 30th on the sneakers app for a retail price of $170. Before we get into the shoe, let us know in the comments below if you think Billie Eilish should make more collabs with Nike. Now let's get into the shoe. Getting to the shoe, we can see it looks somewhat like a Jordan silhouette, but with some slight modifications that we'll get into later. First, we can see a green ghost colored base with a green ghost colored swoosh. Also, at the top, aside from the Wings logo which has AJKO instead of Air Jordan, the green ghost patch below it is larger compared to the normal Jordan 1s. Visuals aside, we can also take note that the shoe is primarily constructed from a unique synthetic leather material compared to the Jordan 1 AJKO in the Chicago colorway, which is made from a thick canvas material. Moving on to the front of the shoe, we can see that not much differs from a standard Jordan 1, except if we look at the lacing holes where the shoe takes a bend near the top, there is a missing lacing hole which requires a different lacing style than the typical Jordan 1s. Also, the ghost green tongue is in a mesh type style compared to a cloth tongue on the other Jordan AJKOs, and at the top of the tongue we can see the Billie Eilish logo in the same green color. The shoes come laced with ghost green colored laces, but they also come with three additional colors which are neon orange, tan brown, and a lighter colored blue. Now, taking a look at the back of the shoe, we can see a very prominent ghost green pull tab which mixes in with the rest of the shoe because it's all in the same color as you've probably noticed by now. Another thing that makes the AJKO style different from the Jordan 1s is the curved sole of the shoe which curves upwards at the back of the shoe. Now, looking at the outsole, to no surprise it's in a ghost green color and it's standard Jordan 1 tracking, however, the material at the bottom feels smoother and less tough compared to the Jordan 1 counterparts. Finally, we can take a look at the insole, which is a ghost green colored insert with the Billie Eilish and Jordan logo in a black print. Stay tuned later in this video for reselling information and where we think this shoe is going in the future. Now let's take a look at the resale of the Billie Eilish Jordan 1 AJKO in the ghost green colorway. First I'm going to compare the shoe to two different types of AJKO shoes to see how those prices trend and then I will compare it to the first Billie Eilish release which is in Jordan 15 model. Taking a look at the Jordan 1 AJKO in the ghost green colorway, we can see that before release on our website, prices were sitting at around $300 to $400. Prices slowly declined till they dropped on the sneakers app on the 30th and have been declining towards that $200 amount ever since. Now, taking a look at the AJKO in the Chicago colorway which released in 2021, we can see pre-release these were also sitting at around $330 but have rested at around $190 ever since May. Taking a look at the AJKO in the Storm Blue colorway which dropped this past September, we can see these didn't even have a good pre-release price and are sitting at that $180 range now. Finally, we can take a look at the first Billie Eilish shoe release in the Jordan 15 retro model which dropped this past September. The pre-release price hit a whopping $300 to $500, but after release it is sitting at $260 to $300. In my opinion, it seems like Billie Eilish wants to be a part of the shoe culture, and we can expect more releases from her in the not too distant future. With this being said, the Jordan 1 AJKO in the ghost green colorway was her first ever drop in the Jordan 1 model and could be a good hold if she continues to drop more and more shoes. Prices for the shoe are pretty low right now, so if you want to hop on the Billie Eilish shoe train and invest in these now, in the future you could see prices on the shoe go way up. 